Welcome back, Monroe subscribers. Mike Oaks, Monroe's VP for Business Development at CES still, day two, the afternoon. And we are lucky enough to be at the Siemens booth with Brenda, who's gonna introduce herself to hear a little bit about how Siemens is helping people go faster and save money. So, Brenda. Absolutely, nice to meet you, Mike. Thanks Likewise. for joining us. So, my name's Brenda Disher. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Siemens Digital Industry Software. Um, we make design products that pretty much every automotive company in the world, um, the aerospace industry, people that are building machines, factories, et cetera, use. Siemens has been around, believe it or not, we were yeah. a startup, but we're now wow. 175 years old, but it was a startup wow. with a handful of people in a garage in Berlin. Um, and we've really transformed into a tech company, and that's why we're here yeah. at the show. So, what uh, any of the, you were just telling me about the space uh, travel or the space yes. trip you could yes. take. I want to hear more about that. I want to hear that. more about that. So, in our booth today, we figured the best way to talk about what Siemens does instead of showing you our software, is to show you what our customers do. So this customer that's, um, that you can actually go in and have an immersive experience in, it's called Space Perspective. And what Space Perspective has done is they've created a pod that's mm -hmm. gonna seat nine people comfortably. Mm -hmm. It's a six hour flight. They're gonna take us into space. So you don't have yeah. to be an astronaut to go to space. Yeah. Um, you start out down in Kennedy Space Center. So it's a, it's a, and it's, it's lifted through a balloon. So it's completely carbon neutral, yeah. no emissions and sustainable. So they lift you up in this balloon. There's a lavatory and a bar yeah. and, and for a six hour <laughs> the flight. The essentials. The essentials. Yeah. You go up two hours, You two hours then at the, literally at the edge of space wow. and then a two hour descent. So that's one of the customers. I would encourage you guys to go check it out. It's super cool. And Siemens did the simulation for all that. So what we did is they're using our whole portfolio of software. Yeah. They're using our design tools. They're simulating billions, of, well, thousands of iterations of the yeah. pod to decide, again, you can't produce things and try them. Right. You need to be able to do this all digitally. So they're actually a really good example of the coolest yeah. technology that we have, which is we make digital twins, yeah. which we make digital representation of what anybody else wants to build physically. Right. And if you can build it digitally, you can go through thousands of iterations. You can simulate, you can try out different materials. In fact, if you if you actually see a, a version of the, of the pod, Underneath the pod, there's like a cone at the bottom. Mm -hmm. They originally didn't have that in the design. Mm -hmm. And because of the fact that they tested it in, they simulated the landing, it was wobbly. Yeah. They realized if they put this, you know, kind oh. of this cone at the bottom, they'll get a much nicer landing. And that was wow. all possible with software and simulation. Yeah. So pretty I cool. It. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah. That's Second awesome. customer, also using a digital twin, completely different industry, is 80 Acres, which is over here in the corner of our booth. 80 acres is a vertical farming. So again, in the sustainability area, what they've done is they've said, there's a ton of factories that are not being used anymore all over the United States and yeah. possibly all over the world. And so yeah. they've retrofitted the factories with a digital twin in order to produce crops indoors. Hmm. So they, it's so pesticide free, they know oh, exactly yeah. how much water, exactly how much light, mm -hmm. exactly how much nutrients, and they do literally anything you can grow mm -hmm. indoors in factories. Way more efficient. Way more efficient. And utilizing space that's not being used. Exa it's super cool, super cool. And then the third customer, probably the fun, the funnest one to go. That's so, that under C one. Yes, yes, that's the coolest one to go check out. And we have VR glasses so that you can get a feel for that one. So what they did is they, again, it's another farming one. They said, listen, um, we're running out of land to do to do farming and, and produce food locally yeah. and nobody can import export anymore There's lots of things in the world that right. are making it hard right. And so what they did is said 70% of the earth is covered in water. Why don't we use the ocean? And so they built this giant dome. It actually looks like a jellyfish. Yeah. That's my view of it I saw a little Did you bit see of it? It looks yeah. like a jellyfish. Yeah. It's a dome tethered to the ocean floor yeah. They've got a bunch of them out in the ocean off the uh, off the tip of um, Italy mm -hmm. There's an air pocket inside yeah. where there's a bunch of shelves, a bunch of IoT and industrial devices. They monitor the conditions. The condensation yeah. creates enough natural water to feed yeah. the plants, and they actually grow plants in the ocean. Yeah, in fact, we have and some they, chocolates in our booth today, if I can get you guys a few, yeah, we're that in have on the that herbs, too. that have the herbs that were grown in the underwater garden Man. made with it. Super cool. Uh, thank you. No, like, thank you for joining me. Listeners, I learned three things I did not know before we showed up here. So I really appreciate you taking the time. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. Love it. Love, Love it. it. Yeah, Thank stay you. safe We're and see you all next year. Tell all our friends. Hey, like us and subscribe. Thank you.
Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Monroe Live. And this is uh, kind of a little commercial for our friends at Anchor. This has got two kilowatt hours of, uh, of uh, life inside. How, what was the yes. batteries? So two kilowatt hours is roughly three and a half percent of a Tesla battery. Yeah. And there's 160 of these cells. Each one of them is 12.8 watt hours. So 2,048 watt hours and they're using their next generation GAN Prime chips. A huge improvement in power conversion over yeah. your silicon or silicon carbide. If you use the code Monroe Live. Okay, so if you, <laughs> go ahead, Corey. I'll hold your hand. If you, you go. <laughs> if you use the code Monroe Live 767. There you go. Okay, so now if you use that, you get how much percentage? I hope $300. Is, is it that what it is? Wow, that's good. Yeah, $300 off. Hey, great deal. Thanks a lot. Keep watching Monroe. Thank you. Three, two, one. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. We're still at CES. We bumped into another company we want to share with you, Seabros. And I got Albert here today. Remember, I'm Mike Oakes, Monroe's VP for Business Development. And uh, we'd like to have Albert introduce himself. Yeah. And then he's going to share with you. Uh, what Seabros does, and then tell us a little bit about this car mm -hmm. that um, that attracted our attention here as well. So, yeah. Albert. Thanks, Michael. And All thanks to you. For, yeah, thank you very much, Michael. So I'm Albert Lilly. I'm Chief Marketing Officer for Sibros, and Sibros is here at CES. Um, we are a software company that enables the connected vehicle ecosystem for a wide variety of different, you know, vehicles. Anything that moves on wheels. So that could be a scooter, a motorcycle, and boats. I saw Boats, it. Actually, doesn't there. have to have wheels. Uh, you know, uh, passenger cars, commercial trucks, uh, tractors. Um, so basically, the idea is that we've brought together uh, the ability to manage software in a vehicle, update the software, collect data from that vehicle to understand how the vehicle is performing, uh, how the vehicle is being used, uh, how the driver is driving, and then also the ability to send diagnostic and remote commands to that vehicle to interact with it. And so when you bring all these things together, uh, you know, an automotive manufacturer or an OEM can actually innovate uh, new connected offerings around this yeah. and on top of this. Yeah. So that's uh, that's pretty much the idea behind Sibros. And I like knowing vehicles from tearing them apart. Right. There's tens of, there's 20, 30, maybe 40 ECUs, boxes in your typical vehicle on the road. Yeah. And that your software can talk to those, right? Pulling that data and communicating with the op operator, driver? Th that's absolutely correct. So so where what sets us apart is, and we actually call our, our product the Deep Connected Platform, yeah. is the ability to reach down to every downstream ECU, sensor, microchip, controller, um, to, you know, to address safety critical components, yeah. um, you know, to actually uh, understand the software configuration variance in every domain or zone as, as we mm -hmm. move to zonal architecture. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and yeah, to collect data from all those and then actually send a command to all those. So basically vehicle wide and also from when the vehicle is born and then all the way to when it's decommissioned. So yeah. kind nice. of full life cycle, vehicle wide, right. uh, all in one, you know, simple, elegant solution. So it's necessary, right? Absolutely. It's not, yeah. it's not in most vehicles today. And yeah. tell us a little bit about, I love this car. Um, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah. So e.go, ego mobile. Uh, from Aachen, Germany, a customer and partner of ours that we invited to jointly showcase their cool new compact all battery electric EV here that uh, actually was purpose built for urban mobility, not only because of its size, yeah. uh, but because of some of the digital experiences and features that they're uh, going to be onboarding to mm -hmm. this that are created through the Sibros platform. Um, also some other cool things, you know, like a recyclable polymer skin, uh, swappable batteries. Oh, so instead of paint, it's correct. a, a polymer yeah, skin. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's huge. And so, uh, I love that. you know, and so they're here, uh, showing this vehicle off and, um, uh, it's not in the United States yet, but I believe they do have plans for that, but it is, uh, uh, they have their production series in Europe and so for uh, our subscribers in Europe. There you go. And right. It's got a great price Pretty point soon. too. I don't know what it yeah. is, yeah. Uh, but it's a great one. And so you can probably catch them on their website. So. I like it. Yeah. I like it. All right. That's uh, that's about what the, all the time we got. Yeah. So Thanks. is there anything else, Albert? No, just uh, appreciate you the yeah. time and the interview. Oh, yeah. and, and, you know, if you uh, uh, are interested in learning more, you can you can find more at Sibros.tech. 
Or Sibros.com. S-I-B-R-O-S.com. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Like us, subscribe. Thanks, and there's, uh, stay tuned. There's more coming.